On September 19th, 2013, this happened. Hey everyone, it's Lisa with KGTravels.com. I hope all of you guys are having a great day. I wanted to do a short video today on a question I get asked here a lot in the store. How much food should I feed my fish? How often should I feed my fish? Well, I'm gonna keep it simple. Less is best. Less is best. And I hope that helps. That was my very first video I ever made on YouTube. And with a little bit more experience doing these videos, I realized how pointless that video really was. So today I want to fix that and fill in the blank, so to speak, and touch base on this very important topic. I really said less is best. That is so lame. I mean, I gave no explanation as to why. So basically what it comes down to is how much you feed your fish, how often you feed your fish, and how often you do your water changes. How big are your fish? Are they adults or are they fry? What size tank do you have? Is this a community tank? Do you have bottom feeders like Corys or Placos? All of these factors are important when determining how much food to put in your tank and how often. have a beta in a five gallon aquarium, you do 50% water changes per week, and that's including siphoning your substrate. And let's say you're feeding bug bites, flakes, and frozen barn shrimp or blood worms. Just an example of what I use. I would give about three to four granules of bug bites in the morning because they're really teeny tiny and it's easier for the fish to digest, at least in my opinion. And since I recommend a varied diet, I would mix it up a little bit and give them, give them a flake, maybe two or three little flakes in the evening. They're not real big at all, perfect to digest, and your fish will love it. I mean, do you want to eat the same meal every single day? A couple times a week, I would switch out one of the feedings with either frozen brine shrimp or blood worms, but you need to remember the cubes are really big and you wanna break off a very small piece of that and put that small amount in a cup of water so you can thaw it out. But really, you should only be given about three or four pieces of the brine shrimp or blood worm to your beta at one time. If you're somebody that does water changes bi-weekly, then I recommend that you only feed your fish once a day. That way, you're not causing too much stress on your fish and having dirty water and causing an ammonia spike in your tank. Don't forget, fish are swimming around in their own toilet. On the other hand, you have a 125 gallon tank with a beta sorority and a bunch of community fish and a couple bristle nose playco. It can be difficult making sure everyone gets enough. Sprinkle a pinch of food in watch your fish go at it, and make sure everybody is getting enough. The key is to make sure every fish eats. You got me dancing in your store, burning everything we know. Prison up as firefighters. You got me dancing in your store. I'm looking like a breeze, but really you're a forest fire. Just in case, you can add another little pinch. Always watch your fish while they eat. Make sure they're eating. Keep a close eye on them. Do your weekly water changes. 
and everybody should be happy and healthy. Let's talk cichlids. When it comes to feeding African cichlids, I like to use the floating and the sinking pellets. There's always those fish at the bottom that get left out if you only use floating pellets. So if you use the sinking pellets, they're guaranteed to get something. We use the jumbo pellets by Northfin. They're floating. I get a good amount of these, almost a handful. And I add a little bit of the sinking pellets, a little bit more than the floating, but they'll all eat it, no worries there. every video we do? I mean, really? We feed them that amount once a day, and John does 50% water changes once a week. typically doesn't let me feed his arowanas, but for this video, he's gonna let me demonstrate how much food we feed them. We have several different fish in here, but they're all on the same diet and they require the same kind of food. The main food that John feeds these fish is krill. He gives them about a handful and you just watch them go at it. It's actually pretty common placo in here, but he gets food that sinks down to the bottom. Don't forget about your placos, whether it's a bristlenose placo or whatever placo you have. They need food too. They don't just eat algae. They need their own diet. We feed our placos the bug bite placo formula and they love it. Having a varied diet is key to your fish's health. Depending on what fish you have, research what's best for their diet, rotate their foods when feeding, and keep up with water changes if you're feeding more often. And remember, they'll always act like they're starving. They're gonna want you to feed them every time you walk by that tank, but don't do it. They're not starving, they're liars. Hopefully you enjoyed this video more than the first one I made. Give me a break, that was the first video I ever made on YouTube, so. I was a little nervous, but I think I've gotten somewhat better. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.